I'm in my LA hammock under the, <laughs> under the sun with the palm trees twinkling, put a bit of colour on, right, and everything just seems to chill. That is, a, that is an image I will take with me for the rest of my day. <laughs> That's what you wanted to achieve, isn't exactly, it? Exactly, am I, am I yeah. the target audience Thanks in her mid-50s getting on a bit? Do you like know a bit of jazz? I don't have a target audience. <laughs> uh, I, just, I just love to play. I've always loved to play. Um, I love listening to music. I love playing music, mm. and it's, it's been the kind of gift that's kept giving, really, for me. You were this yeah. young prodigy when you burst I was scene. never a prodigy. Never. You were a bit. Never. You were Not a even bit. close. You were like, this is a young genius player. Everyone <laughs> loves you, right? And now you're heading to 40, but you're getting old. Yeah, is that old? You don't look old. You don't look 40. You look about 20. I think, you know, I looked 12 for longer than I, 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 <laughs> I really wanted to. You're quite, you're quite glad to and, get you know, to 40. People would, people would always say, you know, when you're about to turn 40, you still look a bit younger. Uh, but I, I, certainly, um, I certainly like getting older. I mean, I think it feels it's quite freeing, isn't it? As, a, as a singer, as a songwriter, as a performer, does, when you get to near 40, do you find that actually it helps, the experience makes you a better musician? Absolutely. And actually, that's what I found in this new album. I just I'm able to, I think, communicate a lot better. And I think also uh, confidence is a huge is a huge factor in writing songs, because I don't think I really thought of myself as a as a songwriter until a few years ago. I'd, I'd always written songs, but I just always felt it was what other people I admired did. And then I did uh, I did a song for a Clint Eastwood movie called Gran Torino. Mm. And uh, it was such a kind of moment of validation for my songwriting that I felt like I would concentrate on that more than anything else. You wrote one about Amy Winehouse, who was a great friend of yours, and you toured with her, mm. and you recently wrote a song about her. Um, Amy, you know, one of the greatest talents this country's ever produced in singer-songwriting, tragically died in her mid-20s. You found, I think, uh, a load of messages that you'd exchanged on your Blackberries, you know, years before. What must have been a very poignant mm. thing for you? I think a lot of the people around her, around the time we knew her and also early in her life, it just, she was such a joyous person. Mm. You know, she was such a music lover. And uh, I don't kind of lay claim on that in any way, but I just, she was, she was so brilliant. It was very sad finding those old messages when she was really just kind of getting started. We were touring. She was such a, uh, a, a you know, she was a, she was a music nerd. Mm. And that's, that's where we really connected, you know, listening to records and talking about Ray Charles and stuff. And, mm. You know, she was such good fun. Mm. The album is called Taller. You say that's a sort of um, dig back at the people who've had a dig at you. Did, did some of that criticism hurt, you know, penetrate? Uh, Do you feel like you can brush it off now? Well, yeah, I mean, it didn't, it didn't really... I think it was one of those kind of images I wanted to use oh. for my song because yeah. uh, it was a great way to kind of draw people into the... I mean, the song is really about when you're with someone. I've been married now for... For 10 years, I've been together with my wife for, for 12 years. The beautiful. And, uh, Let's be honest, you landed a supermodel, so height is a relative thing, right? I mean, <laughs> well, come I, on. I must clarify, she's 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 an, she's actually been an author the entire time. Well, I've known right. I've known her really, so right. I've learned so much about just being a kind of better human, really. And the song is about the song is about the need to grow when you're with your partner, um, just kind of you know growing together. Otherwise, you kind of you, it doesn't go so well. And I think. She really encouraged me to do that in our relationship. And that is... So I thought I'd take that image, one that has been gently... I'm sure you've mocked me standing next to me before, Piers, but I, <laughs> I'd expect nothing less Brush from you. Brush it off. Brush exactly, yeah. Let me it's tell very, you. It's I'm very easy. Let me tell you, I'm a cricket matter. fan. You have I, more the, talent the than your little five, finger, The greatest, <laughs> the greatest <laughs> five <laughs> batsmen in the history of cricket were all under five foot nine, I think. <laughs> right, so... Actually, yeah. height is a very subjective thing. Yes, it really does. It really... I think in terms of piano work and yeah. batting, yeah. it makes no difference. <laughs> well, that's good, because it really... It, I, I should clarify. Or well, really, many other it things, It really doesn't bother fact. me, but it was a good way to write a song and, like, choose... Yeah choose something to kind of uh, talk about something that I found interesting. And you've clearly grown in confidence and it's fantastic. You know, it's lovely hearing mm. you play. It's lovely hearing you talk. Thank you. You know, it's fantastic. I don't want to ruin your brand, but you are one of my favourite performers. Yeah. Okay. And, I, 